Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike at the Crouch Ranch, and uh, today, having kind of a lazy day, uh, recovering from the flood a little bit. Uh, I'll show you these, uh, the creek over here has receded. You saw our last video that we posted, uh, we had a lot of water here. But uh, today, I'm doing some cleanup and came out here to the garden to do a little maintenance and uh, found something very disappointing. My bok choy is bolting. Now, <clears throat> you gotta understand, it's February and it's pretty cold. Uh, for, for our region here in Ramona, we're at about, uh, well, I think we're at 1,395 feet elevation and it gets below freezing at night I know some of y'all back east are like oh man that that's not winter well I know I'm from back east but around here it's winter and um, I I got smart this year and decided to do a winter garden and I, I put these uh, these low tunnels together and I actually got the idea from Dutch last year he did these and did some broccoli in them so I thought man if Dutch can do it I can do it so I put these together I've not had a lot of success with bok choy it tends to bolt on me but uh, what I've heard is that what causes that is actually the heat so I thought I'll grow some bok choy in the winter time right we'll check this out so here's my bed I got uh, cabbage over here on this side I got Brussels sprouts in the middle and I got bok choy running down that side right there. You see that right there? A little flower coming up. I'm not gonna lie, this is very disappointing. Um, I uh, I thought by by growing this in the winter time, I was going to have a nice, you know, crop of bok choy. But what I got here are some flowers that taste pretty good. But I want to know why it's bolting. So I'm curious. I went through and looked through some YouTube videos this morning, looking for some ideas of what's causing these things to bolt in the winter time, and. Uh, I went and looked through Daniel uh, over there at Arms Family Homestead's videos because he does a lot of gardening. He's a real good, I, I default to his channel a lot when I'm looking for ideas or trying to problem solve. And I didn't find anything in there about, you know, vegetables bolting in the wintertime. So maybe we can get Daniel to do a follow-up uh, video and uh, give us his idea on what's causing this. But... I think it's one of two things. Either this 10 mil plastic that I'm putting up here is getting them too hot in the middle of the day uh, because I have been leaving it on. Uh, it's still cold when I leave in the mornings. Uh, so I've been leaving it on, uh, you know, Monday through Friday and then taking it off on the weekends. And it's getting up to about 60 degrees in the daytime. You know, maybe it's getting too warm inside. I don't think so, but maybe. And then Another possibility could be that I used a little bit too much composted chicken manure uh, in the uh, in the fertilizer in these beds. Um, you know, I make that myself, and I know it's a hot fertilizer, uh, but I, I probably only used about maybe that much in a five-gallon bucket per bed, but maybe that was too much. So, hey, if you're a gardener, and you know anything about uh, what's causing this bok choy to bolt, Go ahead and uh, leave a comment, let me know. And uh, I'm gonna tag Daniel over there at Arms Family in this and see if I can't get him to uh, give me some ideas. I know he, uh, he does a lot of gardening. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this quick little update of what's going on in the winter garden at the Crouch Ranch. And uh, y'all be safe. Smoky air dries your crying eyes Whiskey River never runs dry Heaven nights a brand new day Never, never word of every song you play Just south of 
Where I'll make my stand 